What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Legend of Grimrock. In the previous episode, we had fiddled with some buttons, we had tugged on a guy's mace, and we had solved some lever puzzles, and then we had been chased around by ridiculously gargantuan crabs. It was really, really unfortunate. It was not the best day in the dungeon for us. It was really sort of like a 5 out of 10 type of day for our adventurers. However, we are back here, and I should probably... Let's rest a loony here, because we need a little bit of extra mana. And our rogue appears to be wounded. I swear to God, if I get hit with another lightning bolt right now. Alright, good. We didn't get hit with a lightning bolt, so I don't have to swear at God. Everything stays okay. The entire universe is alright, and I don't have to dodge lightning bolts for the next grip of time. Some ring greaves. Ooh, cool. What are those going to do for me? Protection plus six. Those actually aren't that much better than leather pantalones. However, I suppose in this case, I will take them. How close is she to getting... Light armor proficiency. Pretty close. Pretty close. Not quite there, but pretty close. So I, I am going to take her up to light armor proficiency, I think, with her dodge rating. Just to say that it's done, so that if I need to swap her into the front row at some point, I know that I can drag people around like this and stuff. People have brought up that I haven't been doing it. That's because I'm bad at video games. Just bear with me. It's alright. I know that I can do it. I just don't. Because, meh. So let's be on our way and see if we can maybe accomplish level 5 today. I don't know how big this place is going to be. Jiggle Chain, will you jiggle for me, sir? Jiggle yo links. Nope, there will be no jiggling occurring. Well, that's unfortunate. So I guess I'll strafe this way. We'll check all these walls for anything that's any good. I think people are messing with me. I don't think you can jiggle these chains to open up secrets. I think they just wanted to see if I would click chains for the rest of the run through. Just to mess with me and watch. This one right here, it's totally going to work. It's going to be like, oh, gotcha, right about the time that you started to be a naysayer and say that everybody was being tricksy. It's going to stop working. Hear the sound of fire. I don't know if it's my torch or some... No, it's definitely the directional sound. It's on the other side of this wall. It's not my torch. Yeah, it's something on the other side of this wall. So there might be a secret around here that we want to keep an eye out for. Interestingly enough, we've got this right here. It looks like there's some kind of... Oh yeah, it's one of those things from Diablo 2 that the assassin used. I forget what they're called. Katars or something like that? I don't know. They've got a name, and I can't remember what they're called. I should be able to remember what they're called, but as I get older, I find that my memory just gets worse and worse and worse. And I just forget things over and over and over again. It's really sort of disappointing. In a lot of ways, it really is, because I like memorizing things, and I like remembering things. Who doesn't? Remembering things is a great skill to have. Unfortunately, my mind is like a whiteboard anymore. I got so many things going on that it's just like, at the end of the day, it's all gone. Okay, so we found ourselves in another room with more naked men. It's not outside of the ordinary for this dungeon. This seems to be like the pleasure palace of the entire place. What is this? A scroll. The gate of iron shall open if you take your time and rest in the place where dragons gaze. So that's probably related to the fact that there was that dragon statue back at the beginning of the map. I bet I have to like rest in front of it or something like that. It'll pop open. That guy is posturing at me and I don't like it very much. What does this say? Deserted tunnels. Delicious. I love ice cream. What does this say? Chamber of Pits. In terrible need of some right guard. Okay, well... Let's go back and fiddle with the dragon first, I think. That might be our best plan to begin with. There's a golden key that we need for right here. A set of golden keys, in fact. So the first one, it's probably one from each wing, would be my guess. So let's go back and let's fiddle with the dragon and see if maybe he'll be cool and understanding to us. We should also jump down some of those pits that were at the beginning. So let's jump down this one right here and we'll kind of see what happens. Ah! Something's definitely wandering around in here. Another note. I know, I was disappointed too. When I took the jump just to discover that there was nothing useful here. <laughs> I feel like that's the way that the developers are just going to silently taunt us. You were disappointed. You designed this place. Oh god! They make all the gates open and cause the traps to spring. It would be simple for them to stop us. Why will they not do it? 
Are we walking into another trap of theirs? Be careful. Well, there's definitely something in here. But I don't see anything clickable, so maybe I'm missing out on a certain type of crack or something that's... I mean, all of these look really uniform. So, like, for example, this piece is the exact same as the piece they used right here, just minus the two little chain things. This piece is as well, as is this one. Wow, they use the same wall on, like, all of these. Interesting. Ah, well, what you gonna do? When they come for you, bad boys, bad boys. Let's see... Where was the dragon at? Our serpentine friend has got to be around here somewhere. And I ain't talking about no rocks. Serpentine amigo, where are you? I want to sleep under your loving gaze. You're my personal Mushu. There you are. So it said if I rest under the gaze of the dragon. How long do I have to rest under the gaze of the dragon? Who knows? We'll just try it out for right now. Maybe give it a good, like, ten count. In just a moment, we'll move off and do something else. I kind of wonder if it's going to give me some sort of indicator. Okay, so we rested in the place where the dragon sleeps. Let's go back and see if maybe the door is open for us. I'm not sure what to think about that whole thing. It is kind of a waste of food, though, to be fiddling around as we are. The door is still not open. Look at the note one more time. Gate of Iron shall open if you take your time and rest in the place where dragons gaze. Maybe I wasn't far enough back. Maybe I'm not supposed to be... Although it said dragons, plural, which sort of makes me wonder, because this is very, this is only one dragon right here, so dragons? I'm wondering if there's a second dragon around here somewhere and their views intersect at one point. Like for example, I may have missed a secret that will open up one of these walls or something. That's just just me thinking about the ways that this might work. I don't know if that's how it will work, but let's go ahead and distribute some food. So pit root bread. She can eat pit root bread. He can eat pit root bread. She can eat a maggot. And he can eat his herder cap. There we are. My inventory is definitely starting to look a little bit shabby. It's unfortunate. Well... Oh, that's crazy. Okay, well, I don't see a second dragon right here. So I'll think about it for a little bit, and we'll we'll sort it out a little bit later. I don't want to be sitting around fiddling with that iron door for too long without moving the episode forward. Worst case scenario is, as I did with the last floor, I can come back and do it myself later on if we don't find the solution. I am still interested in how we get this open over here, and also why I hear the sound of crackling through over there. But I don't see any solution that's readily apparent. So I think I'll just continue moving forward for now. We might have to backtrack and look at some of this stuff. I guess we'll start one of these wings. This was the deserted tunnels. That's what it was. And I get the feeling it's probably not going to be so deserted when we're in here. That's my... I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to step out onto the plank right now and say that this place is actually not quite so deserted as it's going to try and make itself out to be. Who had the rock that we were using to... There we go. So that we can weigh down some traps with those things so I don't have to use the good stuff. Our torch looks like it's about to go out. So we'll swap it as we've done previously. Fiddling with chains, that didn't work. Got a door right there. No buttons as of right now. 
The other thing is perhaps the possibility that back here... Why didn't I go down there either? I wonder what was back in there. I might have to go check on that in a little bit. Sometimes I look at the map in between episodes and I notice things that I just didn't see when I walked by. And I, I don't know why I didn't see them. I just... I just... Okay, so that opens a gate. I'm gonna leave the machete behind because obviously I don't need to carry that around with me. Oh, there was a gate right there. I didn't even see that. Okay, so there's very clearly... Interesting. Let me see that one more time. Hmm. Perhaps the goal is once again to throw something into the teleporter? Mm, I don't know if you have time to do that. The teleporter is pretty quick. The teleporter is really, really fast. Seems to be really fast. And also, I don't know what that ticking is for. Maybe it's opening that door right there. Yeah, it's opening that door right there. Have a look and see what that switch might be manipulating. Because we haven't really investigated any part of this. It may be doing something. I also feel like some of these statues might be interactable. I don't know. Like they are all over the place. It is worth investigating, I guess. I mean, I don't know. That if they're all going to come to life at some point and try and murder us. That's the other possibility that we hadn't really thought of. Let's continue to click all over the naked man body to see if anything good will happen. But my guess is that the answer is no. I don't see anything really obvious that stands out about them. It seems to me as though some of the secrets in this game, the secrets in general, are pretty obvious if you know where to look. I don't see anything having changed per having that way down. Does it just toggle that gate? Interesting. Did that happen before? Your feet may never carry you here hastily enough. Yeah, I get that feeling. Okay. So that's now open. I tried throwing something, that it, but it didn't appear as though you could actually throw something fast enough to get into that little portal. This room looks pretty much pointless. Had I known this was going to be such a puzzle game, as a hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done this LP. I'm just saying, I don't like puzzle games. so. I did want to bring that up, that if it remains this puzzly, I don't know. It kind of destroys my enjoyment sitting around fiddling with things for 20 minutes at a time every single episode. Your feet may never carry you here hastily, I get that point. Yep, 
Yeah, that's about as fast as you can get over here, and I mean, it didn't do anything for me. Well, let me make a cut again. I hate to do it, but honestly, I've got to figure out what we're supposed to be doing right here. Okay, and so I'm back now. It only took me a minute to figure out the puzzle. I, I was focusing on the portal, and the portal's not quite as important. The portal's not as big of a deal, so essentially I'd go back and show you how I did it, but it locked me in after I did it. So basically what you had to do is you had to pull the switch, step into the hall, throw something down there onto the lever, I'm sorry, onto the button. The button would then open the gate in front of you, and you're supposed to run left to get in through the door once the... Basically I was tunnel focusing on the teleporter when I should have been focusing on the task at hand, which was getting through the door. There is no turn- yeah, no kidding. I mean, it does seem as though we have, like, axes and things, and we could sort of solve this door if we wanted to, but... I guess I'm not gonna think about it too hard. There's no turning back. Well... A torch right there. I don't see any buttons. Where did this actually end us up on the map? On the map it put us... okay. Well, I don't see anything changing when I take that out of its holster. Ooh, almost got me. Almost got me. Almost got me. But, story of those little guys' lives. Unfortunately, whenever they try and throw their genetic material at me, I'm just... I'm not obliged to stay in the same spot. I don't know, I don't like taking showers mid-dungeon. I don't like being, we don't have enough anti, we really don't have enough Purell to really make this whole thing work. And right as I said that, the frogs invaded as usual. Very, very real frog problem up in my throat. I don't see any buttons. Fiddle with some of these, even though I don't think that they do anything. We'll give her the food so that we can store that for later. And then this is where I was. No, I don't heal, hear too much movement. So there's another dragon right there. Maybe this wall opens here. Or something. So there's our first ornate key. Can I light his... Take that dragon! Eat torch! No, it won't work. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I didn't click this chain over here, now you've all made me paranoid. Clicky chain, clicky chain, okay. We have clicked the chain. Why is it saying that I never investigated this over here? Because I didn't? Okay. That's fine, that's a good enough explanation, I'll take it. I just wanted any explanation was- ooh. I like warhammers and maces, unfortunately I don't think I brought anybody on this adventure who uses them. It's a disappointing part of this journey, but I wanted to- I've gone warrior warrior before and I wanted to go rogue rogue. I definitely wasn't about to go mage mage because I don't like the spell casting. Does that do anything? No. I still don't see any buttons. There's a distinct lack. Oh hell. I think they got me with the monster closet again. Definitely got me with the monster closet. Alright, well we just kind of have to hope and prize that this works, because this little guy right here is quite the effective combatant. Oh, we're out of energy. Yes, I know, I hear the sound of more of you coming. I don't suppose you have enough now. Oh, good, you do. Unfortunately, it sounds like there's another one coming. Oh, there is. Okay, well, we may have to handle this one a little bit more delicately then. And so, basically, when he comes around corners, we're just going to try and get him there. Because he has to actually turn his character to get an attack in. And then I'll just sprinkle him. And I should be strafing right now, but 
Whatever. I can make this work, damn it. There we go. Forget doing things the right way. That could have been a really, really nasty monster closet if they had come up behind you. Like, if you got gotten pincered by each of those, and I'm, I'm really not trying to be punny right now. I know that that crabs have pinchers. I, I get that part. But I swear to God, I wasn't trying to be punny right there. That was just kind of the only way that I knew how to describe it. Oh, wow. This place kind of sucks. Yeah, there's one down. He's gonna throw. I'm gonna come back and we'll kill him off. And then I think that leaves his one leafy green friend over. I don't think he's leafy at all. It seems more like a pustule monster to be honest. I feel like the more I walk around in here, the more trouble I get myself into. So I'm gonna try not to walk around much further. I'm gonna limit my... Oh, Christ. How did he get in behind me? Okay, so... We doubly don't want to hold still right now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And if something comes up behind us now, we are hosed. And that's still hitting me, even though I'm dancing out of the way. And now I have trapped myself. Ah, I tried to get out, but too little, too late. Our only hope now is that maybe we freeze him and buy ourselves a little bit of extra time, but... Oh, we got him. Okay, good. Jesus. Okay, this place is really, really... I don't like the frequency with which monster closets are being popped on us one by one. It is making me feel a bit like a nervous mess. I also think I should probably take a second or two. Oh, I forgot to mark the location of the crystal, too. There was a crystal. What is that? A milk reed? Sure, shove it in your mouth. We're hungry. If you're desperate enough, you'll eat it. Oh, that's right. We came in through here. I'm not super stoked about starting this off with my back against the wall with the way that it's been surrounding me lately. Maybe I'll rest right here. This seems a little bit better. Let's rest right this spot. On this spot shall we lie. Right this moment. I'm going to tell so many falsehoods just in this spot. And smoky monsters, I swear to God, if you show up in here with your ridiculous mossy flatulence and you ruin my intellectual regeneration, I'm going to be upset with you. Um, that's all that I'm going to say right now. Okay, let's continue. Now that the monster closet has subsided. I don't see anything around here that looks particularly... Oh, there's a thing on the ground right there. Sometimes the stuff on the ground is so hard to see. Protection plus six. Now there we go, there's a big upgrade. So now we've got chainmail gauntlets, which leaves us with leather gloves, which we can pass on to our first rogue, or our second rogue, I'm sorry, rogue number two, as much as she hates that nickname. The shitty one, as it were. She's like, sigh, I hate you all, I'm going to stab you in your sleep. Over here. Oh. Oh. Ah, so it opens the wall right there to allow us back into the initial area. And then, what is this controlled by, I wonder? Is it still controlled by this? No, that's still compressed. Let's see if maybe we do that, it goes away. No? It doth not. I do want my shuriken back, though, so maybe I'll use this to weigh it down. I had been unfortunately separated from my favorite shuriken. Okay, well, that's just going to close that down. So how do we get into here? There is a green cloak right there, which has me tempted, as well as a bunch of broadhead arrows, which we could definitely use more of. We could use a ton more broadhead arrows. I think this is probably a good spot to break off the episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Legend of Grimrock. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, I do.